Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Muhammad and I'm from Qatar. And today I just want to start with a question. I want to ask all of you what would happen to your country and state if the industry that's keeping it alive collapses. History tells us of examples like the Detroit automotive industry or the North England manufacturing industry. Both examples of how putting all your eggs into one basket leads to problems such as unemployment, poverty, or even homelessness. Now, imagine what that means to my home, Qatar. We put our eggs into one basket, fueling the world's need for power. 87% of our exports is fuel, oil, and natural gas. How can Qatar sustain itself in a world that is less dependent on fossil fuels? Renewable energy is no longer a trend. 23% of electricity produced in 2016 was, a, was from a renewable source, either solar, wind, or water generated. But Qatar has been proactive in seeking a more diverse economy. They have been investing in changing the main export into knowledge and expertise, lowering our dependency on fossil fuel production alone. To diversify the skills of the future workforce, the government has invested in programs and initiatives that assist in important stages like education, university preparation, and career development. And that in the plan is called the human development pillar. And surprisingly, all of which lie along, uh, along the path of our next generation of our workforce, high school students. These programs and initiatives improve proficiency in subjects they help them reach entry requirements to universities. And they also give them internship opportunities to help them visualize themselves in those positions. The plan aims to diversify our local knowledge and expertise in fields that lack it, areas such as health, science and research, agriculture, and education. So I wanted to know if it has been taken effect. This problem is, has been there for a while, and these plans have been there for a while as well. Let's take a look at 1,591 students on grants. These are students who are pursuing their undergraduate education through, the, through Qatar's grant system. Almost 23% of them, 377 students, are studying business administration, compared to five people majoring in health, four majoring in education, and one person majoring in agriculture. It's clearly not working. I wanted to understand what do high school students in Qatar base their decision on. So I spent the last few months talking to them, and I came to understand which factor weigh heaviest in their decision making when they're looking at a career or at a major to study. Students want to talk with a specialist. Right now, their main source of information is their parents and peers. This limits the knowledge students are getting because of parents not being able to answer all of their questions. And the questions they do know how to answer, it's either because they're knowledgeable about it or that they know someone that's knowledgeable about it. They want to know what the job is like, but not in a way to get credits and that's it, but have a meaningful experience that allows them to visualize themselves in that position. They also wanted to know the academic requirements to enter these fields. They want to plan earlier, a strong opposition to what I thought that they were not engaged with their planning at all. And finally, they want to know the relevance of the field. What are the challenges we're facing? Who is tackling them? And who will benefit from the solutions they create? So I based my intervention around those four insights to allow students to explore a field that they're interested in rather than be restricted to what an event or their school had to offer. I wanted to take them there. I wanted them to see the built environment. They want to be inspired. They want to interact with people. They want to get information from the source, a very experienced source, where they can learn about universities they could enroll in, or even what, how what they're learning today can be applied in those fields. And I wanted to deliver the information about the challenges and projects in certain fields that in a, an engaging and fun method. So I created Get to Know. It's an outreach activity that organizations who work in fields that lack local knowledge and expertise could use to reach and inspire high school students. 
I'm working with the Qatar Foundation, Qatar's biggest contributor to human development. Because of them, Qatar has now become the educational hub of the region. And I'm starting with the field of science and research with the Qatari Environment and Energy Research Institute, KIRI for short. Please remember that, I'll be using it a lot. One of Qatar Foundation's initiatives. So, repetition is good, right? Get to know helps organizations such as Qatar Foundation share initiatives such as KIRI to inspire students who are shaping Qatar's future. So I want to talk to you through how Get to Know interacts with two students, Kana and Al Walid. So during the first 15 minutes of class, students get to play a modified version of a local game called Sijin. It's like sorry, but with a trivia element. In order for players to advance through the game, they have to answer trivia questions that share information about the science and research sector in Qatar, its challenges, and who is working to tackle them. For example, information about project, projects regarding our limited supply of fresh water and how we could, we could better use salinated water. This problem is not unique to Qatar. It's, it's the whole region. Just being in a desert environment means that multiple countries can benefit from solutions like this one. Once the game is done, students can continue their experience and sign up to visit an institution based on the topic that resonated with them the most. The game has information about computer science, biomedicine, and energy. Kana and Al-Walid decided to visit Kiri. Kiri has a state-of-the-art facility that hasn't been opened to the public yet. The Qatar Foundation and Kiri will facilitate a trip where students can come, interact with researchers, tour their labs, and the facilities they use. They arrive at Kiri, and they're greeted by Dr. Hassan, a hydrogeologist. First, they toured the facility, where they got a behind-the-scenes look at, at scientists in action. Here, they met Dr. Yahya Zakaria in blue while he was using an electron microscope, which Kana and al -Walid found very interesting. They were also able to spend time asking questions that were important to their development, like specific answers to where they could specialize in renewable energy fields and what subjects they need to focus on in school that will be applied later in their career, if they chose to be a researcher. Kana and Al-Walid now have a path to follow based on their interaction with Get to Know. They understand what they need to focus on to specialize in the field of science and research. They, plan, they can plan their work experience and even got a recommendation for a university that is part of our grant system. This is something they can take advantage of. They can go there for free, guys. And then, at the end, they can also learn about all the organization and partners that work in tandem with an organization such as Kiri, giving them the opportunity to discover all of these prospective employers, the places where they could work. It's not restricted to a lab or a lab coat. They can work in multiple places and still work with Kiri. Students were inspired by the activity. Get to know allowed them to see, to see themselves in a world where they could engage with institutions such as Kiri. It gave them an incentive to actually put some effort into researching a career into those subjects. And it allowed them to see and experience a world that is usually not open to the public. Before this, Kiri, the science and research sector, was shrouded. But because of Get to Know, it's achievable. It humanized it. And it made them see themselves in a place like this in the future. Compared to the U.S.'s 3.5 million high school students, Qatar only has 40,000 high school students at any given time. Inspiring just 1% of them, or 400 students, would have a great effect on how diverse our workforce can be in the future. And finally, inspire students to explore the diverse fields that are needed to build a knowledge-based economy. Changing the content and destination of Get to Know to reflect fields such as medicine, education, or agriculture. Giving bright students like Kana and Al-Walid to help create a resilient Qatar. Shukran.